Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the testing method, which is generally used for testing the services in the microservice architecture. We know that in case of the microservice architecture, there are multiple services which are deployed and each service has a dependency on the other services. For example, this is the service mesh diagram for the travel application. And as you can see here, multiple services are deployed and each service have a dependency on the other services. So in such scenario, testing the service as a single entity become difficult because the particular service have dependency on the downstream services. To discuss about the testing method which we use for testing the services in the microservice architecture, I have used a very simple example. So I have created a service mesh which comprises of three services. Product composite service, product service and the review service. The responsibility of the product service is to give the information about the product. The responsibility of the review service is to give the information about the review for a particular product. And the product composite service is going to collect all the information and display to the front user. So as you can see here, in this case, the product composite service have a dependency on the product service as well as on the review service. Now in an ideal scenario, in order to test the product composite service, I can deploy all these three service in an environment and test it. But that again create a lot of problems like who is going to maintain that environment and in the current circumstances, we have only two service on which our product composite service is dependent. In future, this dependency might be increases to four service or maybe more. So you can see here, as the dependency increases, the testing become more difficult. So to solve this problem, we use the concept of mock server. So first, let me go ahead and show you how this services works. First, let me start all these three services. So first, I'm going to start the review service. And then I'm going to start the product composite service. And then I'm going to start the product service. So now using the postman, I'm going to send the request to the product service. So this is the information about the product. In this similar manner, I will send the request to the review service. And this is the response. And after that, I will send the request to the product composite service, which is going to talk to the review service as well as the product service and give us this response. Now, at any moment, if one of the service is down, we will not be able to get the corresponding information. For example, let me bring down the product service. And now let me send the request to the product composite service. So as you can see here, we are getting the response from the review service. But as our product service is down, we are not getting the response. So as you can see here, as we have a dependency on the downstream service, so testing of the product composite service becomes difficult. As I mentioned earlier, to solve this problem, we use the concept of mock. So we are going to bring up the mock server that is going to intercept the request which is being sent to the product service and the review service. And then we will configure our mock server with the response, whatever we want to return for testing of our product composite service. So in this situation, basically we are mocking the both the downstream services that is product service and the review service. By doing this, we are testing our product composite service as a single entity. So let me show you how it is done. So in our Karate project, first, let me create one more package. And let me call it as mocks. So first, I'm going to write a simple feature file that is going to send the request to the product composite service and do certain verification. So let me add a new feature file. Let me call it as product composite service test.feature. So feature keyword. After this scenario keyword. Given URL. And path. And header. 
when method get then status is 200 and match the response in the similar manner i will add the matcher for the product and the review component After this, I'm going to create the runner for this particular feature file. And add the test method here. And after this, I'm going to run this runner. Okay, so let me restart the product service. And then run this runner. So our test is passing now. So the modification which we need to do in this case is to introduce the mock server. So we are going to create a mock server and this mock server is going to intercept these requests. And after intercepting the request, it is going to respond whatever we have configured to respond it back. And in this mock server, we are going to mock the product service as well as review service response. So in this case, this will be the entire environment in which we are going to test our product composite service, where we are going to mock the dependent downstream services. So in this kind of environment, you don't need to worry about the other services because you have already mocked those services and once you mock it you have better control over the downstream services so in order to use the mock server first we need to add the dependency of the mock server in our project form.xml so just navigate to the maven repository search for mock server and add the dependency in the form.xml now let me bring down the other services and make sure that only product composite service is running. So if I rerun this particular test, it will fail. Okay, as you can see here, it's not getting the response for the product. That's why it is failing. So for the mock server, I have to create a different runner and that runner will use the concept of parallel runner. Because the moment I try to use the annotation which is coming from the other library, Karate Framework will not be able to identify this particular test method. So let me show you that. So let me try to add a method which is going to use the annotation coming from the Jupyter API. And if I run this runner again, you can see here we are getting the error and it says that cannot run the test as it is not able to find any test runner with JUnit 5. So that is the reason I need to create a different runner for integration with the mock server. So in the same package, I'm going to add one more class and let me call it as product composite service parallel runner. So this is the approach which I'm going to use. First, I will create a setup method. This method is going to use the annotation that is at the rate before all. And this method will contain the code which is going to start the mock server as well as mock client. So we are going to start the mock server, but in order to interact with the mock server, we will use the mock client. And the reason why I want to annotate this method with at the rate before all because I want the mock server and mock client should be started only once. 
then I will create one more method that is teardown and this is going to use the annotation at the rate after all and in this method I'm going to shut down the server as well as client then I'm going to create the test method and this is going to use the annotation at the rate test which will come from the JUnit not from the Karate framework and inside this method I'm going to create the parallel runner which is going to run the feature file after this I'm going to create one more method that is going to intercept the request which is being sent to the product service and it will respond with the mock response for the product service in the similar manner I will create one more method for mocking the review service so let me create the methods public void setup and the annotation with this method is before all and let me also create the private variable for the mock server and client So in order to start the server, I'm going to create the instance of mock server. So server equal to new mock server. And then I need to specify the port number. So let me put it like 9092. After that, I will create the instance of client. Specify the host, which is localhost in our case. And the port. This port number is where the server is running. So I will use server instance to get the port number. After that, I will create the teardown method. And the annotation I will be using with this method is at the rate after all. So in this method, I will put a check. If the client is running, stop it. If the server is running, stop it. After this, I'm going to create the test method, which will have the code for executing the feature file. And the annotation I need to use is at the rate test and make sure that it is coming from Jupyter API. In order to create the parallel runner, I will use the builder class. And then specify the location of the feature file. and the location of the feature file. And then execute the parallel runner by calling the method parallel. Then store the result. And after that, put the assertion on the failure count. After this, I need to create the method which is going to intercept the request. So one private method for intercepting the product service request. In order to intercept the request and respond back, I will use the client. So client dot when. Now, if you look at the implementation of when method, it takes the type as request definition. So let me search the API documentation of this particular class. So let me open this class. As you can see here, the HTTP request is the subclass of request definition. So we are going to use this class to define the parameter by which the client will know that which request it should intercept. So if you scroll down, there is a method called request, which is a static method. So I'm going to use this particular method. So HTTP request dot request. 
specify the path so for the product service this is the path followed by the path variable dot with parameters parameter dot param and specify the value of the path variable and the return type of this method is of type HTTP request so let me create one more variable so client is going to intercept all the requests which are coming to this path and then I'm going to pass this here after this once the client has intercepted the request we need to respond and after this I'm going to create the mock response so just the way we have HTTP request, we have a class called HTTP response also. So using this class, you can design what response you want to respond once the request is intercepted. So HTTP response dot response and I need to specify the body. So let me copy this and store that in a string variable. Dot with content type. Media type dot application JSON. And this method is going to return us the type of HTTP response. So let me create one more variable called mock response. and then I will call the method that is respond and specify the mock response so this is how we are going to intercept the call to the product service and once the call is intercepted we are going to respond with the mock response so basically this is going to intercept this call in the similar manner I am going to create one more method which is going to intercept the request going to the review service so once this is done I'm going to call both of these method in our test method so mock product service and mock review service and let me go ahead and run this runner so when i run our runner class i'm getting the error and it is complaining that the method which is annotated with the at the rate before all should be marked as static or i need to use this annotation with the runner class so at the rate test instance and let me go ahead and run this runner still our test is failing and the reason behind the failure is we have started our mock server but the product composite service is not aware of the location where the mock server is running so I'm going to restart this service and specify the location of the mock server so this is how I'm specifying the location of the mock server java hyphen jar product composite service jar file and product dot service dot url and basically the url is pointing to the location where our mock server is going to start so let me start it and run the script in a debug mode
so as you can see here the mock server has been started at port number 9092 now we are going to configure the client to intercept the request as well as with the mock response so if you pay attention to the log this is how we have configured the mock response in the similar manner for the other one so currently our test is failing I forgot to add the slash over here as well as here so let me rerun the runner again the tester is failing but this time it is complaining about the review which is expected because we did not register the review service URL while starting the product composite service so I will restart it and this time I am passing the URL for both the product service as well as the review service and both of the URL is going to point to the mock server so again let me run this script in a debug mode we start the mock server as well as mock client and then we register the request which we want to intercept as well as the mock response in the similar manner we provide the configuration to intercept the review service request and then we execute our test so as you can see here now our test is passing so in this manner by using the concept of mock server you can mock the dependent service or downstream service and test your service as a single entity